Rebellion for Wild Growth and Innervate, apparently. None of those are any of those. Excuse me. Alright. Oh good, oh good, he lost a mole jump. Oh, gang up, what are you, really? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. Oh, who are you corrupting? Okay, okay. Well, I can do this. I can do this. So I don't think he can clear my board. I don't think. I mean, I, I, oh, good, he lost an implosion. That's a little scary. Okay, who are you kidding? Oh, good, another one. Okay. That is fine. I dislike this being here. Can I please get another natural one? Like, pretty please. Yeah, these guys have one theory. I 
think we're good. Yes. <laughs> so, point of the game. Get rid of his little guys, and by the time you drop the big guys, you shove enough little guys on the board to buff them with Savage Drawers and Mark of the Wilds, and the game is yours, which is great. So, the cards are two Innervates, two Naturalizes, two Boost of Sergeant, two Clockwork Gnome, two Leper Gnome, one Stone Tusk Boar, two Undertaker, two Young Dragonhawk, two Young Priestess, two Zombie Chow, one Mark of the Wild, two Power of the Wild, two Wild Growth, yeah, sorry, Power of the Wild is the one I meant, uh, two Onto Creeper, two Nervian Egg, and two Savage Roar. And that is it. You want really, really cheap stuff because he's milling you and you want to be able to get as much, as many cards out of your hand as you can. Um, as many cards out of your hand as you can so that when he does mill you and makes you draw three cards, at least three cards every turn and then naturalizes you, which makes you draw two more, you have the space for them and you don't burn too many cards. So that is it for Valstraws.